now recording. <laughs> Alright. So. <sighs> last time, you nearly got um, electrocuted and otherwise eaten by some uh, silicate blobs. And then, um, thanks to your um, careful usage of um, of equipment and weapons, you weren't eaten alive by by the jungle's uh, uh, friendly uh, occupants. Uh, I mean, you remember those? Uh, yes, the parts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, no, 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 I meant uh, not the critters, uh, the bugs. Ah, the bugs, yeah. And, uh, like, disclaimer, we have absolutely no information that could lead to Hillary Clinton's arrest. So, this is completely, I mean, no, just, just no. Just... <laughs> Don't go there. Yeah, and that's why... That's why you use disclaimers. Uh, okay, so you successfully uh, hunted for food uh, in the jungle. You shot, uh, if I remember correctly, Marson shot on jungle deer. A six-legged, oh, yeah. six-legged green-skinned jungle deer. Um, uh, which, uh, yeah, which um, uh, Alex's wife cooked, and then you ate um, to conserve the rations. Um, on the next day, next morning, uh, you you had a, um. Let's say your rest was uh, not interrupted by anything uh, dangerous. Just, just um, the the heat and humidity uh, of the place. Even though you like your uh, tents, <clears throat> your individual tents, like there, uh, they are well secured uh, and the material. Uh, from uh, which they are made of is um, thermal resistant, but still it's it's not like super comfortable. Um, so, <clears throat> for example, if you had like a spaceship with um, life support system, uh, you could have uh, had like uh, better comfort during resting, but. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll soon um, reach this point, I hope, at least. And I hope that you hope that you reach this point. But um, the next morning, uh, Alexi uh, gathers you around, uh, gives you um, one of his um, spare duration um, backpacks as Ten rations in it, uh, and he produces one ration for each of you, so that you don't um, consume your own rations, the rations that you have in your backpacks, nice. your field rations. <clears throat> and he uh, he activates his PDA and uh, projects uh, a hollow star map of a system nearby system so system. And he's like, uh, says, uh, look there, um, uh, this will be your first um, mission. So, um, and he like points with his, his finger like at um, one uh, very tiny object. It's like, it, it's not even the moon, it's a, like a planetoid, like a very large asteroid. Uh, very uh, unevenly shaped, <clears throat> and he points at it, and like uh, it enlarges uh, on the whole map, the whole map, and you can see like 
little bit of detail here and there. Um, and he says, uh, this is a planetoid SP-51. Um, it's, uh, it, it was terraformed by uh, a certain corporation. And he smiles like, says, uh, have you ever heard of uh, the Ring Corporation? Any of you? Oh, uh, I, no. No, I have not. One more time. The Ring Code Corporation. Uh, knowledge history? That will work. Huh. Okay. I'll just, um, just give me a second. We have the whisper. Ah. Excellent. Give me a second. I have all of my notes prepared. I don't awesome. have to write. I don't have to write anything down. So uh, he he looks at you like he he looks at you for a, uh, probably a couple of seconds. He smiles. So uh, this uh, this corporation no longer exists. Uh, they kind of vanished. I mean, um, everything, all of their assets, ships, shuttles, um, personnel, their families, even. Everybody vanished. And he looks you like it's a, with a little bit of uh, like uh, uh, the look of someone who, who is just um, telling very, very close to a, a story that it's, it, it's, it's close to his, um, his heart uh, that he cares of. Um, and on the other hand, kind of uh, uh, also adopts like a posture of, yeah, it's, it's probably something something really really spooky or or not it's like 50 50 split that's why he's he's giving you that look okay so well I edmund guess you... will uh, edmund will chime in rain coke Weren't weren't they the ones that was engaging in uh in uh secret experiments for the Star Knight? You know, like genetic augmentation and all kinds of freaky shit like that. He he kind of smiles white widely and he's like Good, you know Ah uh, he's like uh, it took me an entire year to collect uh, the necessary data, and uh, thanks to me, uh, and he turns around like uh, on purpose, of course, completely on purpose. Alex he turns around and uh, shouts at uh, the direction of the garage. Thanks to me, wasting my time. <laughs> Reading conspiracy shit on the genius, and uh, Valeria is like, uh, I can hear you, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the idea, ma'am. He's like, Who's the idiot now? <laughs> so, uh, thanks to my um, research, uh, I have located this uh, planetary. And um, yes, um, apparently that corporation, they had a secret facility there. 
and he smiles again, like a very secret one, which apparently is still there, not destroyed, not looted. Can you imagine what kind of spooky shit? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, what kind of uh, research data can be found here? Hmm? And probably equipment. Uh, but I what? Uh, well, he kind of uh, styles for a second, uh, scratches his uh, his beard. It's like. Um, I kind of sent someone there to scan it, just like a surface scan, nothing special. Uh, you see, we, we, we need to be careful here. Uh, so he, he opens the second, like, um, second file and overlays it over the, the original hole that is still running on his PDA. And you see a building uh, on one of the the rocky rockiest like parts of this planetoid, which uh, is not completely covered with uh, vegetation. And by the way, the the the, the planetoid has trees, uh, but it's not like a jungle. It's some some special type of form. Um, genetically modified trees used in terraformation uh, which are big um, not like uh, they, they they can't like you, you can't have like tiny trees of this type they they grow very quickly because they're they're engineered to to, to do so and um, yeah you see you see this the, the the spot and also you see like um uh side note um part of the data stream of the scan says like uh, um the the scanner so the scout has detected this and this and this and this and um some of the data is like corrupted and he he uh catches your looks and says smiles and says if any of you want to look at it, I can uh, upload you the file. But from what we can see, it's uh, I mean there are some 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 life signs uh, roaming around the forest. We have no idea what uh, what they are. Absolutely no idea. Uh, but what we are 100% sure is that there is a shuttle there, an intact shuttle. So, your job is to go there and get the shuttle. That's it. Uh, of course, not, not die in the process. I mean... Uh, so some parts uh, thought it was a good idea to go land and on an asteroid that's been abandoned and just left his shuttle there. Well, this sounds like it's going to make for quite an interesting little adventure. Kind of oh, I'll, I'll take a copy of that data, if you please. He, he uploads uh, the file. He, he shrugs and says, uh, who the fuck knows? That's why we sent you. I mean, uh, no saying uh, corporation would like leave assets behind. I mean, the base is not disassembled and probably has other equipment inside. He kind of looks at you. Uh, uh, he, he gives me uh, a Merson says. Um, you'll be piloting that, uh, that big, uh, uh, escape pod over there. And he points at the escape pod. You can see the green one in, uh, one of the corners of the, um, the camp, uh, where, uh, Edmund successfully hid from you the previous day. Uh, and he says, uh, well, uh, 
I can promise you this, son. If you do not crash my skateboard, if you like uh, return it back to me, um, if you return Vasya back to me, um, he is uh, pointing again at the, the skateboard. So if you return Vasya back to me, I promise, I promise that I will secure you, secure for you uh, a power armor frame, which you can then use to build your own power armor. Eh? Yeah. Ain't that, um, ain't that cool, eh? I'm down for that. I'm pretty sure that's the motivation I need to make sure your uh, your uh, ship comes back in one piece. <clears throat> yes, this will make for an interesting uh, uh, journey. We can we'll think about the information we can gather on the flora and fauna. Edmund nudges Marson with his elbow. I think Captain likes it. I just kind of like. Uh, Smile, uh, not smile, what's the word? I nod. Smirk? And smirk, there we go. I smirk and uh, nod. Because my character is really terrible about <laughs> yeah, really... He's not you, the, you the can't. You can't do human. <laughs> human I don't not... human well. <laughs> and um, when I try to, it goes well. I think he might be one of those, uh, what you call it? NPC. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. He says like, so. Uh, uh, if you return Vasya back, I mean, uh, make sure to to. Uh, he, uh, he kind of drifts to the left a little bit to the left uh, when you pilot him, like when you land him. Be careful. Take that into account. So, uh, if you if you return it back, like you only need to pick it up with your with that shuttle, and like fly it back here. So we're good on that. And uh, I will uh, I will make sure to use my 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 special contacts on Kev. Um, and like uh, you you hear the his, his wife, uh, like. Um, Shouting back from the garage. It's not your contacts, Sinto. Those are my contacts. You, ah, I give up. He he chuckles. Yeah, yeah, they're they're both of our contracts. So, uh, all right, all right. So, uh, get your get your stuff uh, packed. Um, get in the get in Vasya, both Vasya, and. Um, the ship will uh, will uh, pick you up, and um, you actually see a transport shuttle. Actually, that's it. That's a big. Oh yeah, it's pretty. Uh, that's that's pretty a, a pretty big shuttle. Like it's uh, probably three times the size of a normal shuttle, uh, and it kind of hovers, uh, engine booming uh, above the uh, the camp. Uh, it looks like. It doesn't look like a township. Um, if any of you want to roll like a knowledge starship, or something like that. I'll roll knowledge. Okay, knowledge spaceship. <laughs> Wait, not intelligence. I am looking for knowledge. Do I roll intelligence or knowledge? Wait. Uh, uh, scroll no. down to your, uh, go to your skills section. Oh, knowledge okay. takes up like Use the entire, that. all the knowledge just take up the entire middle chunk. Okay. Knowledge. Uh, and your knowledge spaceship should be uh, on the bottom. Like okay. the new, new, new knowledge. knowledge is. Yeah. Knowledge space. There we go. Okay. Ah, uh, you have absolutely no idea. It's 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 not there. 
It's... Oh, Yuri, Yuri turns to Alexi and says, Oh, Alexi, does this thing have uh, some weaponry? And uh, Alexi is like, What the hell do you think, Vasya is? It's not a death pot. It's just a pot. Get in the pot. I'm... Come I'm on, you pansies. You want to live forever? <laughs> Uh, he's, uh, you're, you're, and says, just enough so that we can complete our missions. Uh, so the pod I can take is, it or leave um, it. That's a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> the pod is basically a four, uh, a four man, uh, four person, uh, escape pod, which, uh, most Terran starships of a small size have. Um, alongside, they also have like a single, single um, a seater pods, uh, mini pods. Uh, but like, um, it has a little bit more fuel. It had uh, has um, a larger uh, power cell. It doesn't have like a reactor or anything because it has to be. It just has to be there. It's like it's not a proper spaceship. It's just an escape pod. Uh, it has some rudimentary sensors uh, and, and has a little bit better piloting controls. Um, uh, Merson, uh, mm -hmm. you sit behind you sit behind the controls and you notice that actually the controls are not standard tissue controls. They they look like um, upgrade uh, an upgraded uh, control panel. Probably um, Alexi. Uh, did it? Did this to the pod? You're not sure. Uh, maybe mm. his wife. They're both spacers. So, yeah. uh, and uh, you see, um, like on the front, front um, transparent like uh, viewing port. Uh, above it, uh, you can see written in in, uh, in Kyrillic. You see uh, Vasya. So basically. Uh, he named his pod his escape pod. That that's his his personal escape pod. You you can you 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 may only guess what he does with it. <laughs> what uh, he's using it for. So after you you board the pod uh, and you close the hatches, uh, you feel like a nudge. Um, and the pod is, is being like pulled up uh, by a grappler, and then you can see through the through the viewing port like um, the um, you see you soon uh, um, <clears throat> escape uh, the gravity of this this moon or planet or wherever you are and uh get into outer space and like a couple of seconds later the ship jumps into hyperspace um you you feel the the, the shake since you are like uh, magnetically locked to their hull you're not like docked properly docked inside inside of the ship still uh s someone had uh, seen fit to modify the shuttle's hull to withstand such a thing wouldn't have uh, sent you um, into space otherwise. I'm not looking to kill you. Uh, so you hear a voice uh, on the internal speakers of the pod, the comms. Uh, it is a um, uh, high pitched uh, female voice. Uh, I, I will not try to emulate it. Uh, basically, she said she she introduces herself. Says, ah, hello there. Um, special operators. She like she she speaks with this almost the Good same. Good morning, accent. special operators. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, question before we head out on this mission, by the way, are we going to get a chance to requip or restock on any extra supplies before we go? Mm, well, basically, what you what you have uh, in your equipment. No. All right. Yeah. Just check. Um, and she says, um, 
my name is Alessa, captain of this freighter here. I will be your uh, uh, pilot uh, for the time being. So I will deploy you on that uh, accursed planetoid. And uh, if you kind of uh, fail completely, uh, which I, I sincerely hope uh, I don't have to jump again in this system where we are going. I, 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 I don't want to. So please, please finish mission. Like get shuttle, uh, come back or, or by yourself. Uh, or Alexi will like uh, lose his ship. And she says, um, <clears throat> you, we will we will uh, travel through hyperspace like for two hours. So uh, I don't know. Like uh, occupy yourselves. Like uh, play whole chess or some game or whatever. And he she like turns turns off the call. So uh, who got the the file? Uh, Edmund. Did. Edmund did. Okay, so you can use uh, your skill in computers and you, you can try to uh, clean some of the, um, restore some of the damaged data. Yeah. Well, it takes you like nearly two hours. Uh, you, you try everything, everything, basically, what you know. Uh, but um, the, those those like uh, clusters of data for you, they are yeah. <clears throat> you fail to, to store it. Um, you you kind of fix one of the the, the whole slides, the, the pictures, and perhaps that's that's the the best the best uh, thing that you could uh, under the circumstances. Uh, it shows um, part of a creature uh, that uh, the um, optical sensors of this uh, scout uh, taken picture of. So it's a very grainy picture, but it's still, I mean, you can do something with it. Uh, like. In the meantime, Yuri had put up, like, uh, uh, like uh, holding his rifle, put up his feet and looked like he was, uh, like, uh, napping. But uh, he looks up and uh, uh, says, Oi, Edmund, uh, can you throw me, uh, can, you, can you throw that picture my way? Sure thing. He passes it over. So he sent to my PDA or to, to your PDA, so he will look at it, look at the carefully at the creature. <clears throat> um okay, so it is the, the dice are getting steadily better. Three, four, five. We'll get there, yes. guys. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh okay. So it is definitely some alien form of life. It is uh, not a human. Um, it has natural uh, armor on it oh. uh, instead of a skin. And it has claws. It looks like you're, you're basically you're looking at a hand. That's it. Just a hand sticking through some brushes, some uh, brushes and uh, from behind a tree. Uh, so yeah, you you uh, definitely uh, think uh, that this this is this is not some <laughs> some human who's who's been hiding. <laughs> Alone survival, survivor of the the research team. No, no, this is some some alien uh, alien thing. Uh, um, sadly, sadly, you you lack sufficient data 
to uh, to deduce what type of creature, perhaps, or or uh, something. You, you, you don't yeah, know. you're just supposed to yourself. Hmm, it looks like a f fascinating specimen. If we have the time, I would like to 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 scan. If we have the time, I would like to scan around to see if we can identify the, the species. Hmm. So, in other words, what you're saying is you don't know a damn thing about it. No, it's not human. <laughs> oh, well, well, thank you, sir. I'm sure we couldn't figure that out on our own. Can we eat it? You, you, with, without <laughs> like a, a hint of like without a trace of sarcasm, you're just smiles and goes and nods and goes. You're welcome. I just, kinda, <laughs> I just look over at Yuri and go like, "Can we eat it? That's, you can eat anything if you put your well, mind to it." <laughs> Uh, but well, this, this get is also the, the, uh, you're, you're just you're just shrugs and uh, and says, well, this is what w w the scan will deduce, uh, uh, Marson. But uh, just eyeballing it, it has a lot of armor. But uh, and if it is uh, uh, from what I can see, it is probably a carnivore. So uh, probably it. It does have a, uh, a tender meat underneath all that armor. So, um... uh huh. He's <laughs> yeah. just making an educated <laughs> guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, yes, we will. Ha yeah, we'll have to see if uh, what, what type of. Uh, uh, <laughs> If it's a, if it is a carnivore, we'll have to see if it doesn't consider us its prey. Uh, so there are a lot of variables here, but it will it it will be fascinating if we can gather more more data on it. I just kind of like nod uh, at this point. Like I've gone back to just kind of looking around the uh, area because my character. Is weird. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. You'll, no, you'll figure because it out. you're dropped up, yeah. and he has ADHD. Pretty much, yeah. I'm trying to keep track of what's going on. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm I'm having no worries. Don't a worry. really hard don't time worry. right now. <laughs> we, we will, we will, uh, we will fix you. Don't do anything. <laughs> you're going to have to uh, like okay. prod me along. I'm trying to pay attention, but like I don't worry. I have extensive yeah. notes, so Ooh. if you like uh, forget something I can copy. I've so, and I know uh, otherwise uh, you have like um, you will have some of the things that I will uh, paste in the game chat so you can log later like during those two weeks between our games and like scroll the, the chat the, the, the chat window of the oh, okay. Yeah. Oh that so, works for me. All right, cool. After those two hours, like uh, you again feel the, the the chic, and then again a nudge, uh, and uh, you see through the viewport your ship has exited hyperspace, the ship that's scaring you, and you again hear the voice of Alisa. She Okay, so I am giving you a, a nudge, and you you again feel like the the entire um, escape pod is like shaking. Obviously, she's like uh, doing some some um, maneuver um, and giving you like uh, speed, uh, basically throwing you. Uh, you. You see that uh, actually she she uses the grap the grappler. Uh, of of her starship to propel you uh, towards your like uh, destination, final destination, and she she says uh, to to you um, uh, Marson. She's like, uh, okay. Uh, uh, pilot, uh, 
do your magic and she's like i hope you you uh you succeed and um you, you see like a flash because the ship like again enters hyperspace she's like this she spent probably around 20 seconds in the system maybe a little bit more it just popped up <laughs> dropped you and just slide off again like uh so you see you you activate um the navigation controls of the escape pod and you try to to correct uh, the trajectory that she she threw you um with uh, navigation uh, skill check you could you could try to roll for um extremely good like uh, ma maximum um exploits of the inertia that she gave you or you could just take your time uh i'm going to go with the flow and go with the inertia <clears throat> okay so roll the roll navigation check navigation very oh okay so you kind of uh you try but um it's not it's not something super um, impossible to do uh but you miscalculate and activate the maneuvering thrusters of the pods uh in in a moment that you you shouldn't have so the pod like careens of course and you have to use more more of the correct the trajectory um the planetoid it's uh like your the, the the viewing port is like slowly filled by it uh the the rocky surface like looks like um on on certain parts completely covered by the trees uh you can you can try and use the the inbuilt um scan scanning system of the pod uh who who will operate it oh uh, uh, yuri will okay so... computers yep <clears throat> Okay, so I will I will uh, send you a oh boy. Uh <laughs> <laughs> and while while the the pod is like entering the thin atmosphere, uh, the upper uh, parts of it, uh, roll me another mission and a pilot check. Awesome, pilot check. Nice. Yes. And navigation again. So. Well, well, we are uh, descending. Uh, uh, here it goes. So, hmm, this could be troublesome. Uh, according to the scan uh, uh, scan data, um, uh, the, the there is water uh, uh, throughout. Uh, most of uh, most of the water is located in underground caves, but more importantly, uh, it seems to be uh, th there is w water throughout the uh, atmosphere. Sadly, uh, it w when we land, it w uh, because of the composition of the atmosphere, um, that water will probably feel like acid rain. So do not 
<laughs> do not take your helmet off. Ah. Okay. Leave your clothes on. Don't try to take a drink in the rain. Well, yes, I would say that this goes without saying, unless uh, you want to be permanently bald, I guess, which which could work. I mean, sounds kind of fun. I have to check that, actually. The, the, <laughs> I, I will... I will uh, I will store this scan data to of the acid rain to see up later if it will actually lead to boldness or just lesions. Also, uh, while you scan, you detect this uh, even before, like uh, the the. Um, the data that I, I just uh, sent you uh, while the pod is descending um, through the upper um, part of the atmosphere um, Okay. Um, all right, so um, you, uh, Merson, you kind of uh, struggle with uh, navigating the pod uh, through the atmosphere, even though it's thin uh, and probably the gravity of uh, this place is like not super weird. Uh, you still you still like use up almost all of the fuel and somehow miraculously land the pod without crashing it <laughs> it kind of drags a little bit more than you you wished uh, but it's not it's not damaged it's like scratched or something but you have zero fuel like you feel all of the fuel oh. um but the pod is is fine i mean it's not it's not trashed uh, and you, uh, you, you open like the hatches, um, and you look around, it's, um, mostly, of course, you, you've landed close to the base, it should be around somewhere, um, you see less, less, um, trees, uh, but, uh they are big and um the ground is is uh soggy wet uh muddy it's it's not very comfortable to to uh and probably not not entirely safe to quickly run around uh on this ground uh, you see rocks sticking uh up um, out of the mud, which you can see them on the map. Uh, they, they, they look sufficiently safe. Uh, the rocks, like, probably, like, fall apart if you if you run run over them. But uh, about that that mud, that thick mud, you're not sure. Um, and uh, looking around, you can see uh, a cliff, a uh, very steep cliff um, to the west of you. It is um, tall, but uh, nothing, nothing you couldn't manage uh, with the help of uh, Grab a uh, personal grab, grappling hook. A little bit of uh, careful climbing. I mean, at least uh, the rocks, they look... Uh, they look that... Um, <clears throat> they look to be like, um, sturdy enough. And with plenty of uh, places to, to uh, secure your footing and grab on, on some sticking up. 
piece of rock to help you climb. So it's not like some some smooth rock, almost impossible to climb. Uh, also, you see. Um, let's see. What do you see? Romy is Portuguese. Uh, just uh, f from the scan, uh, did my, uh, with the scan that I did, did, was able to pinpoint the exact location of the shuttle, or and compare it, or with the, the scan with the readings, uh, compare them with the photos. It is probably it is probably uh, to the um, let's see to the north uh, west up northwest uh, part of the map yeah. uh, and you've also you also detected uh, a metallic signature um, alien made or man made let's say uh, around this this the cliff side with, that I just uh, told you of yeah so it's it's um it's somewhat close so guys um let me explain so explain to you so the ground is is uh is is not very safe uh you you will you will not be able to to uh run without uh rolling an athletics check um probably if you fail the athletics check you'll kind of uh land uh your ass or your face in the mud uh if if you're like um on a steep um uh, steeply steep like uh, place and if you fall there like it might might hurt you um but otherwise your your speed your movement speed is is um decreased by half so and of course it is raining it is raining and uh you you see you you can you can like see how the the rain uh it actually has acid in it and it starts to to uh corrode the the paint uh, first at first on your suits so yeah it's um you, you have to to um, decide where you go. So I'll ask you to roll initiatives. Okay. Let me see. First, oh. I'll roll the spot. Because I do have wisdom. Okay. <laughs> okay, so yeah. It's not, I don't have this a train skill, what do you want? You are distracted by the AC train. That's okay. Roll, roll, spot checks, all of you. So am I rolling a spot check? If you get crypt up, crypt uh, by the music. But I think it kind of. Uh, Helps. Now the music's good. Um, am I rolling a spot check? What, what am I doing? Yeah, spot yeah, check. Okay. A, a spot check. And, yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. All right. So you look around. Um, do you have uh, any uh, gadgets that will help you increase your talking uh, range? Just my scope. Oh yeah. Okay. So that that was uh, important. Okay. So you look through the scope, and you see uh, that actually, actually, uh, there is something uh, that um, the scan data of uh, uh, Yuri confirms. It's like you you uh, you you basically see it, uh, despite all all of the rocks and. Um, the mud that is slowly uh, flowing down the the cliff. Uh, just give me a second. Uh, 
I will. Nice. Wait, wait. Oh. Okay. Yeah, just to find our characters, I didn't know where they were. <laughs> A little trick you can do, Eric Mar, to uh, bring everyone over to the characters anytime you switch maps is when you have the select uh, the select command uh, select. You can hold down shift and ping with it. Hold down shift and then hold down the button. And when you ping as the GM, it'll pull everyone's camera to where you ping. Huh. Yeah, you have to hold down the shift key when you're doing it. Oh, yeah. Yep. There we go. Yep. Uh, okay, so give me a second. So what you see, I will uh, show it on the map. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Of course, I'll use. Um quietly inform everyone because you know we don't know much about the wildlife here except for the fact that there's apparently something big armored that has a clawed hand and that Marson wants to... I yes. will let them know what I found basically off to the west I see something hit the cliff looks like it might be the shuttle sort of wedged in the trees there and there's critters crawling all over of it about a dozen of them look about the size of cats. Yep. Mm. And I ain't talking tigers, I mean, you know, house cats. <laughs> you see them, basically. So, can I roll you, uh, how much time, like, is this an intelligence check, or how much time before the, the rain like basically choose through our armor. Um, you could use your anti knowledge. Uh, just roll intelligence check. Uh, <clears throat> anyone of uh, you who has the repair a skill can roll the repair check. And now what skill? Repair. Repair. Yeah. Oh. Nope, nope, not fucking good. I have no idea. This is the mystery of the AC3. Nice. Okay, um, Marson, you, you, uh, you deduce that, uh, like from the intensity of the AC, um, you deduce that probably, uh, it will take, you see, um one it will it will inflict one ac damage per hour spent outside on the uh on your uh hit points uh, the hit points of the armor yeah yeah okay, one. 30 hours <laughs> uh, but since you're looking to find like uh yeah yeah of course base, and of course, you, you you look at the the um, the pot the pot, and since it's not crashed, crashed, not not broken, you could probably shelter 
yourselves in it and wait for the rain or anything but uh you have no idea what uh, what's happening uh what uh what what type of devilry is afoot around here uh so yeah basically that shuttle um edmund it looks nothing like a terra shuttle it's like uh broken uh you see mangled pieces of it um, uh, sticking from a pile of uh, from uh, below uh, like um, a pile of rocks uh on the bottom of the cliff and uh also you managed to notice that there is a, a hand a humanoid hand so probably someone is buried beneath those rocks but those critters, they are running all, up, all over the, the place. And, and they look hungry. Well, I'll of course relay that to them. Yeah, that doesn't look like our ship. It doesn't look like a Terran shuttle at all, actually. And I do see maybe a corpse there. Hmm. Buried uh, under the rocks, his hand sticking out, looks like, and well, uh, critters I, look hungry. Well, so, I did, yeah. Well, I did pick up uh, uh, an air trail from a uh, uh, shuttle that belonged to the Tazaran life forms. It was a star we called, but this is probably it. So the Tazaran oh, life forms good, are shit, man. The Zaran's life forms do have a presence here. Presence here. Maybe we, oh, if we reach that shuttle, see if uh, its uh, computer and logs survive. Maybe it can tell us where the shuttle we're looking for is, and it may it may have fuel in it. Well, we need fuel. So I'm down. Look. Yep. So because we know it's uh, because just out of character we know it's uh, to the northwest actually our shuttle, but I think that some scouting info will not hurt us. Yeah. So it's the well, this shuttle's power. also located part way up the cliff, so that'll give us a vantage point where we can look yep. around. Uh, the, the question is, do we climb? Because I do not have a grappling hook, so it's... <laughs> it'll be quite I don't fun. have one either. Uh... Nope, oh, I don't have one. None of us have a grappling hook, so I don't know, like... The, the long way around, or... But we're in the open, then. It's... Well, while you're, you're sitting around the... Uh, looking around the... Uh, you see again through your scope, um, uh, Edmund. You see those those little critters there dragging a leg. Uh, leg. It still has a piece of uh, armored boot on it. They are dragging it towards the um, the pile of rocks, and they are fighting for it like they're. Uh, biting each other and uh, clawing each other. Uh, there is a bunch of them, and they kind of. Yeah. Uh, you they, they, I'll, yeah, they, I'll inform the group. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'd say there is too. Uh, <laughs> way too much. <laughs> it's a numbers game, and I think we should go around, not try to climb it. Uh, by the way, Edmund, can I look at the uh, with your rifle to the? Uh, can I look take a good look at the creatures? Yep, I'll let him take a look. Okay. So, uh, you well, know, you know what to roll. Nope. Okay, so mm. I will. Yeah, I don't know anything, but uh, uh, well, they they look like uh, some. Mm some um how should i put it 
they have uh, six legs with claws. Um, they're not very, very good on the eyes. Um, and they, uh, the, the teeth they have, like, uh, they, they do not look clean. Uh, their fur is like, um, it looks like they have boils on their fur. Probably that's the effect of uh, too much exposure to the rain, the acid rain. You're not sure, or maybe they're sick. You have no idea. But they, they, to you at least, they do not look like they are in the best shape of their lives. Hmm. So they're not used to the acid, they have not adapted to the acid rain. They probably are not from here. Ah, vermin ah. from the from the shuttle, maybe. Okay. Or it was brought here by okay hmm, interesting okay so you just takes notes on his uh, pda then unholsters his rifle attaches the scanner and uh, and goes well it's a long walk so i suggest we start moving All right, All let's right. get going. Maybe we can shoot some of those creatures, huh? Um, I would not. I would not <laughs> <laughs> instigate them. <laughs> seeing, see, seeing. Uh, uh, I would not see them, Marson. Uh, they they have balls on them. They they would would not be tasty. So, I suggest we get a move on and find you something more delicious looking to shoot at so where are you yeah going? that action ain't doing anything good for him that's for sure. so i suggest we go just uh, go up the like up the hill like that and then turn left and south and then go to the shuttle unless right. like these slopes are like it depends how steep uh these slopes are, but I'm guessing uh, very they, steep. they are plenty steep. But uh, yeah. uh, the rock is is if you try to climb, um, it is very steep. Yeah. Okay, so you, you start walking. Um, you get up to here and move your tokens. It takes you probably. 20 minutes to get there. Uh, the the mud is is really deep. Like uh, I didn't see where you pained if you did. I just over here. Do you have the selection tool selected? Because I'm not seeing any. And are you? Make sure you're not on like the GM layer or something too. Yeah, it's I saw it. Just zoom out. Mm. It's it's over here. Like, I, I, yeah, I was I was over here, but it just didn't appear to be pinging for some reason. At least on my it's it's my my mouse. It's very old. Ah, I was okay. I was clicking, but nothing was here. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you get there and like uh, you you look around. Um, roll, roll another set of spot checks, please. Yep. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Uh, both of you, you see tracks <clears throat> uh, that are left in the rock uh, from something heavy uh, vehicle that moved uh, up the slope and basically uh, the, um, 
the vehicle is a tracked vehicle. Uh, it's not a, a graph engine vehicle because they don't leave tracks unless they bump into something and drag their hulls over something. But yeah, this actually is a tracked vehicle and the tracks look wide. Um, anyone with a knowledge vehicle? I don't think we have one. Okay. Um. Got that uh, mess. And no, I just got the yeah. yeah. Edmund well, is, yeah. is a sniper. Okay. So yeah, it, it, I mean the, the tracks they lead uh they they lead up the slope. Um and it seems that the echo was moving fast as if they were running away from something or they were trying to get somewhere really fast. I have no idea. But it's not some some huge sized vehicle. Probably it's a it's a light to medium sized vehicle. Maybe thirty tons, maybe twenty six tons, something around this this damage. All right, so uh, let's see. You're 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 not changing your um, the direction of your climb. You're still moving in the same direction, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so you get uh, it takes you another uh, half hour to get to here. You are now fighting uh, against. Uh, the, the steepness and of course the, the horrid mud which is now um, running like a, like like a slow and very disgusting river and you see uh, here you see you you if you want to I will give you uh, the choice because you have like your scanner in your rifle. Uh, you can you can uh, roll a uh, computer. Yep. Spot them. Nope. Everything is clear. No, no. Uh, I mean, everyone rolls. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> Uh, okay, nope. Uh, so all of your your suits take one point of damage. Their hit, the 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 suits hit points. They they take one point of damage from the AC. Uh, you continue climbing up uh, the slope. You could uh, take your time or try and ro roll athletic checks to do, to to climb faster. But it will probably take you another hour to get to here, for example, if you want to continue moving this way. Or you can uh, turn um, and here. It's your choice. I vote we make use of the rocky terrain. We might be able to move a little more easily along. I'm uh down with that idea. I say we go for it. Here he okay. So we will start trying to follow. Yeah, basically start trying to follow like along the path of the rocks. 
not too close yeah, to yeah, any, like not, not, yeah, not the, the not over here, for example, but like yeah here. No, but like along the t along the tops. Yeah, of, like, yeah, to help us or at least grab to them, for, uh, grab them for support. Yeah. Okay, so um, uh, you, if you want to do it faster, I mean the athletic checks are only for um, for trying to to uh, climb fast and uh, the slope. All right. Uh, okay, so instead of. On a whole hour it takes you half an hour to get here. Okay. Okay. Um, and this time you see another set of tracks, uh, probably from the same go. Uh, they, they have followed the, the same route. You, you are now following. Uh, roll, roll um, spot checks and uh, yeah, Yuri, Yuri, you can roll a scan, yeah. That's because you have the scanner. Nope. Nope. Okay, so yeah, the, 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 um, you see. You see something uh, over here. I'll just uh, ping it. Uh -huh. uh, you see something there, and it looks looks like. Uh, looks like a body. Mm. It's half covered with mud. Uh, Yuri, you uh, only see it because uh, the flow of the mud kind of uh, moves uh, one of its um, limbs, its leg, the leg of the, of the corpse, and kind of um, catches your eye. Um, but <laughs> since the, the leg, the legs are like sticking up from the mud, it's most probably dead. Uh, whoever he was or she. It will just... take you like it will take you probably another half an hour to get to there. It's it's not it's um, the problem now. It's not the inc the inclination because you have climbed it. It's like the 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 the, the deep mud. But uh, after you reach like uh, over here where the corpse is, it's like rock. So won't be a problem. Okay, so uh, here goes corpse. Twelve o'clock. Be careful. And so, uh, yeah, I say we go check it out. All right, let's do this. Edmund, of course, keeping his rifle at the ready at all times, yeah. just in I case something. I think we're all okay, okay. So, ah, uh, by the way, I see that you have. Uh, inflicted damage upon yourself. No, only your suits took damage. It's not. Oh. Uh, yeah, the durability the of the armor yeah. HP. Durability of the suits, not your own. So yeah, you reach, you reach uh, this um, uh, the spot where the the body, the corpse is. Um, the armor looks chewed to hell. Uh, and probably part of of uh, of the um, 
uh, part of its other leg is actually missing, like something clothed um, away. Uh, and uh, you could like try to, to pull the body uh, forcefully out of the mud or like uh, take your time and um, dig it out by hand but um, you will take another point of them I mean you, you you already took one more point of damage to your uh, suits oh so, yeah, it's yeah. Fine. yeah yeah second hour uh but so so far so good i mean uh kind of uh spotted scouted acted cautiously did not like run head long into things yuri holsters his weapon and goes oh marson help me with this sack of potatoes (laughs) 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 i look at yuri a little confused we brought potatoes. <laughs> Think he means the corpse. Yeah. It's a, uh, the, the, uh, the, like a Yuri says and goes. Uh, it's a figure of speech, Marson. Uh, please make a note in your PDA to explain it to you later. It's a human thing. Um, <laughs> Eric, Mar- what's the highest point around here that I can reach while these two are pulling the sky um... out to sort of keep tabs all around? The highest point would be if if you're not trying to cross the the mud uh, again. Yeah, uh, staying within the rocks, like over on this you side. You could you could get to you could climb up to here, probably. Yeah, uh, you have to like um, it will be. Could you ping it again? Because it didn't yeah, go off. It, it, ah, it didn't it's in a stupid mouse. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, it it will take you probably a couple of minutes to to climb it. Um, yeah, just some place where I can get a vantage yeah. point while they're working on that. You will get like probably fifteen feet uh, without the need to to uh, roll like um, athletic check. But the the the, the um, from this point, um, the the rocks like they get really steep and this this uh the top the plateau uh is probably 130 maybe ish feet yeah i just wanted some place where i'd have a little bit of a vantage point so i can look around the area yeah okay romia sport i'll tell you what you see while you two roll strength checks uh, my my lovely potato sack uh, dragging um, yeah. nice. and Marson. Potatoes. You, t- you, you too. Uh, right. Ooh, nice. so with your combined uh, mighty uh, human muscles, uh, you pull the entire body. And you pull it sufficiently fast, like it takes you probably a couple of minutes. Uh, you pull it, and not only that, but you you see that um, I mean the the um, the mud is kind of uh, it, it's kind of dragging something that is barely attached to it, to, to the corpse's back. It looks like a uh, the the tactical backpack that uh, most Ooh. such suits have. Like, and you see, like the 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 mud is almost like. Uh, uh, taking possession, uh, taking possession of this this backpack. Like any of you could try, since you you are pretty fast, could try and roll a reflex um, save and try to grab it. And Edmund, you, I'll just uh, send you. Uh, yeah. Yes. Um, Merson, you grab it. It is a small uh, tactical backpack. You have, you you open it, and um, inside you find um, a grenade, an issue grenade, and one uh, ration pack. 
and one uh, small power pack, which is uh, which, can, which can be used only for pistols. Okay, yes. What those eyes for again? I'm sorry, I, I, I uh. Grenade, I'm ration good. pack? Yeah, no worries. Grenade, ration pack, and a small power pack for pistol. For a pistol. Okay, okay so, uh, Edmund, uh, while you're scouting around with your scope, the scope of your rifle, you mm -hmm. see, uh, first you notice the trail because of your vantage point. Uh, you notice the the track uh, treads uh, left left trails. You see first these trails. You see more of them uh, leading uh, deeper uh, into this small forest uh, um, like place. And then you see, you see this, it looks like a broken APC over here. And you see a corpse uh, next to, next to this uh, APC. Uh, it, it, it is wearing the exact same, uh, Armor suit like this, this corpse that you pulled out from the map. And also, you see something that's uh, uh, that looks exactly like uh, that uh, grainy image of that hand, but it has two hands, and you can see its uh, its body. Um, yeah, it is pulling the corpse, uh, pulling the corpse in the, um, okay. this direction. And we'll you, get on the calm. Oh, go ahead. And, uh, you see that, um, the hatches of this the vehicle, all of the hatches are open. Um, they look to be, they seem to be forcefully open from the outside. And this thing, by the way, just give me a second. Um, let's see. Uh, let me see. I will. Uh, after after you like watch it for a couple of, see another another creature, which uh, seemed to to uh, leap out of uh, the um, down down from the tree, and uh, kind of uh, help uh, the other creature to to drag the corpse. Like uh, grabs the the other leg, kind of, so that they could easily pull it uh, together. And this is exactly what you see in a second. I'll send you a whisper. Here we go. Enjoy! Ha ha ha. And while you're reading this, uh, what what do you guys, uh, what what do you do after you kind of secure the body of this uh, humanoid? Here it kneels uh, behind, uh, next to the body. First, you will uh, look to the shoulders for an insignia of any kind. Um, okay, so yes, you see an insignia. Uh, and? Uh, does it, does it, does it, has any, what does it look like? And it 
have anything written on it? It's uh, it's written in Tazaran. Yes, yeah, so I do have a Tazaran. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's um, it's the insignia of uh, Tazaran uh, lens private. It's like a, a, a step above the, the normal private. It's kind of a special private, better. So like has a greater skill or something. Or it's probably it 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 was recruited from uh, some noble house um, manor that had like better training or something like. That. It's like a, like a, co a copper, similar to to this rank, and. Um, you see that uh, on the um, upper torso, what or what's left of the, <laughs> the, the breastplate, uh, you see that it has um, uh, designation. The armor has designation, and uh, it looks like some 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 uh, team it says. Uh, uh, special special team uh, page, like the color page, special team page in the, in the zone. Uh, is this knowledge special or can I roll knowledge alien for... You can roll knowledge alien, yeah, you know. And while they are like um, investigating the, the body, uh, Edmund, you see another creature, exactly the same like those two creatures uh, it climbs out of a whole deep hole uh, and the rock over here which you just now notice and um, the creature gives a sign to to its uh, other two fellows um, Okay. As this is happening, Edmund's gonna like get on the comms and let them let the other two know what he spotted. But uh, we found our I found some of those uh, mystery crit. They are ugly, and they appear to be smart. They're able to communicate with each other. Hauling off another one of your uh, another one of your potato sacks, Yuri. <laughs> Just uh, about forty <laughs> yards. He'll, he'll look motion with his rifle if they're looking up his way about 40 yards that way. Downed APC just past the tree line. Three of them dragging one of those corpses into a crack in the ground. Here he goes. Ooh, fascinating. Uh, Edmund, please record uh, a short loop and send it to my PDA. Already are. Yep. yep. By the way, I should, I should uh, mention that... Uh devices like attachments like holoscopes they can be and they are directly linked to your PDA so you can record battle footage of it's interesting. Oh, uh, all right so um your knowledge is uh efficient I've read plenty on the designs and their Imperium you know that uh, teams uh, with different colors are used, are sent um, on different missions, and uh, beige teams are sent to uh, retrieve enemy equipment. So basically, what you deduce from uh, from this whole, only uh, you think that the only reason that such a group, the Zarans, was sent here was to retrieve equipment. Uh, you uh, were also sent to retrieve equipment, <laughs> but um, our, our own. <laughs> yeah, your own. So, um, and also you notice that um, n now, just now, notice that um, uh, he has 
uh, small, like um, very small uh, letters uh, under like uh, the the left brace of, of his um, uh, arm, like the, um, the upper armor uh, part of the the glove, basically. And they are indicative of a base. It's a number that you have read a couple of times. You have uh, seen it. Uh, it's a base called Pion Base. Oh. Uh, so yeah, this soldier, his uh, stuff, his his um, equipment, his armor. You don't find his his weapon. Probably he he dropped it somewhere. Uh, but his his armor is like um, you know how uh, military bases they have like uh, uh, marks uh, on the soldiers equipment that signify that some base. Some 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 militaries do, others don't. But yeah, that that's standard for the So basically, you 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 under you find out uh, where the soldiers came from. Okay, uh, second, uh, Yuri will retrieve the data crystal from his PDA. Yep. Uh, and, uh, uh, and thirdly, uh, I would like just looking at him, I'll roll you science medical to see from the coagulation, like, uh, how long has the soldier been dead from the coagulated blood? I guess I can. Is it or like knowledge? Is it science medical or knowledge checks of biology? Uh, medical. Science medical to determine how much time has passed since he yeah. has medical. been killed. Uh, no. Uh, well, probably two days. You're not uh, one hundred percent sure because the body is slightly bloated. Yes, uh, because of the rain. Yeah. The rain, the acid, so it, it kind yeah. of yeah, it, it's. Uh, and while while you're um, looking looking at them, Edmund, you see uh, they drag the body inside the, the chasm. Uh, one of them enters it, uh, and then the other enters it, and they disappear. And the third one that came out of it, he kind of walks uh, in a very strange manner. Kind of, it seems like his feet are almost effortlessly walking through the mud, and he does a little, a little leaps, uh, stops, uh, looks around, um, then leaps again around uh, he's, he's um, making again like uh, hand uh, motions like he's, he's giving signs to to someone and you notice um, that the the motions that he makes like he would with his um, right um, clawed arm towards the, the hole and from the hole like comes out smaller creature but of the same kind probably it's, it's not grown up uh, to be an adult probably a child um, and um, it it follows follows him beautifully and you observe you observe the creature like he's is uh, showing some some things around um, in the, uh, the environment. Uh, picks up uh, different uh, pieces of rocks uh, and other stuff like pools. Uh, very strange, like uh, um, red reddish uh, looking warm uh, from the mud. Like very skillfully, like it's. Uh, like it's it's super easy for him. Pulls it up, like shows it to the the smaller creature, and then um, 
uh, and then like throws it again in the mud. And it's 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 not like a game. It's more like um, it's more like he's, he's it looks like it's he's teaching it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And they they so, seem completely oblivious. Uh, you have a couple of rocks between. I mean, uh, the rocks over here, uh, who are like probably seven eight feet taller. The uh, and they are obstructing the view. And of course, you are like far away. And your sniper has a um, vantage point, so he's, he's able to see them, but uh, they they are not yet aware. Exist, so, but they they seem like Edmund. They seem like they're moving towards uh, towards this uh, this uh, cl uh, cliff over here. Edmund Where will make them aware that it looks like they're coming towards the cliff. You know, up well, there's yeah. two. Older one, or bigger one, a little one. It looks like the bigger one's teaching the little one, so that crack in the ground might be some kind of nest or a home for these things. Yuri just goes, uh, Yuri has been looking at the footage in the meantime, and he goes, Fascinating. I I believe uh, we have found the reason um, for a, a ring called corpor <laughs> Corporation's presence on this planetoid. Uh, now that I've seen it, See them clearly. Can I roll another knowledge check of biology? Yes, yes, you have sufficient um, data. Data. Okay. So while you're uh, picking your brains, um, they slowly move it's here, and the smaller creature manages to catch to to um, uh, grab one of those worms. And it looks like very happy, uh, like jumps a uh, couple of times uh, up from 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 the mud, and then slips, uh, like falls uh, face face down in the mud, and like drop the like uh, the worm like wriggles away from its its hand is like, and it's like starts um, like, and you you hear like a sound, a very low pitch sound like. Uh, and Edmund, since you're observing them, it, it, it seems like that the, the, the smaller creature, the child, is like, uh, seems to be distressed. And then you see like the older creature, like, pets, pets its head, like, it's like, there, there, like, you, you, you'll, you learn, um, uh, they, they, despite their vicious demeanor, like the, the claws, and the uh, the kittiness armor and uh, like the the the, the built because they're not like tiny creatures they're like almost uh, close to six feet tall like they're five and uh, five and a half feet tall um, I mean the adult creatures um, they they don't look that um, aggressive I mean at least they have Yuri. yeah are you seeing this Yuri? They almost look like they're acting you, human. You, uh, like you, you're just, uh, it's it, it's almost like he, he almost sounds almost sounds excited and uh, there's a smile in his voice and he says, "I believe we can make contact." So uh, I suggest uh, you refrain from engaging them, Edmund. I I believe we can reason with them. Perhaps they can even help us. In the meantime. What do I know with my roll? Uh, in the meantime, you take one more point of damage uh, ah, okay. from the AC train. But uh, your exobiology check is, uh, I mean, your, since you now have a lot of data and you can actually look at them through, through yes. the link that you have uh, through your uh, PDAs. You are one hundred percent sure that those uh, those are like um, almost near sentient beings, like probably on the same level as on Earth and the gorillas or the the uplift, uh, and they look like they have probably gotten some some uh, 
maybe some uh, additional help from uh, someone with uh, sufficiently high enough skill in genetics. Uh, because um, even if they were like um, they they don't look like they have um, achieved everything on their own yeah. yeah they they got a little bit of help it's not like um, the way that uh, the, the, those signs, that the hand signs and the the, the other sounds that they the, they communicate, they 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 look almost exactly the same as the those who uh, um, your client races would use, like the hamsters, the space hamsters, and the bunnies and. Yeah, the uh, is it is it like the, the language, the primitive language, or? Yeah, the primitive, the primal. The primal. Okay. Uh, here it goes. Does. Anyone talk primal? Or the combs? Wait, sorry, what'd you say? Hey, uh... Okay, then. Oh. Uh... Oh, uh... Marson, uh, can you give me that treasure you... you... we found... you found? The... the... the, the what? The... Marston, you there? Oh, nope. He's, Wait, no, yeah. I'm here. I'm yeah, here. I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I muted the. Yeah. Yeah, no, I just had it. I just had it muted because there's just like a lot of banging going on upstairs. Uh, sorry, okay, guys. Okay. Yeah. No, no and worries. Then, yeah, but I just, I also just uh, dropped my headphones. What did, what did you just ask me? I'm sorry. Uh, no, nothing. Uh, can you give me the the ration you found from the from the Desert Life Form? Yes. Okay. Oh, I hand over uh, my. I'll, I take it, uh, turn to Edmund and go, just in case, be, be ready, but I will attempt uh, contact with, with the creatures. So I... It's now, you, I need you to explain it very, uh, I mean, yes, uh, in I detail, will... exactly what you're doing. Okay, yeah, of course. Um... So what I will do is remove my like uh, not remove my helmet, but just uh, um, open the pull face my faceplate. Yeah, mm -hmm. pull up my faceplate. Uh, un unwrap the the ration, and I I will I will go I will climb the the ridge, and uh, by the way, that's what you guys see in your PDA transmissions. That's what they look like. Yep. Okay, more like on top of, yeah. Extremely well developed. You have side posts on the shin. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, I love science. Uh, uh, we'll go over the. We'll go on the ridge. Stay there for a second to be sure they that see they, you. They, they see me. Then, then I make the universal sign of live long and prosper. <laughs> basically, basically. Yeah, no, no, no. I do the, the live long and prosper. Be... You show them what you show them the thumbs up. Yep. Um, yeah. And, and... The 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 Vulcan thing for yep, Star yep, Trek. The Vulcan, yeah. Yep. Live long and prosper. <laughs> the, and the index <laughs> finger and middle and finger and ring to, finger uh, and pinky finger. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's the 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 ring and the pinky and the middle and the index finger together okay. to form a V. And then I will try to I will try to say the I will try it anyway the exo language the the, the basic uh, hello. I know it's I don't know if they can like uh, understand, but I will try to like the one you make. When there's a first contact with the creature, yeah, but the, the, yes, the exo know, but... is for space organisms. Yes, yes, but I know, but still. Okay. Uh, well, they they startle at first. Uh, the um, the adult creature like shields uh, the smaller, the child with his body, uh, and he smiles. smiles. He hisses at you like uh, extends his cl the claws like kind of. Uh, grow a little bit longer 
um, and he assumes like a, a battle uh, posture. But after he after he or she looks at you a uh, little bit longer, it seems that he kind of uh, retracts back the claws and uh, does a sign uh, with his uh, with its hands like it's it's almost identical to what your uh, the gorillas um, do uh, when they are very small and uh, they have not yet learned like the baby gorillas they have not yet learned to to to, to speak properly and they they use the the primal and this uh, this sign means uh, peace. Yeah, I uh, mim- mimic the, the 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 sign, the language, and uh, and uh, like try, tries to uh, like uh, Yuri tries to remember what the uh, uh, friendly smile looks like uh, because he has trained in the mirror uh, for a long time, and then try. <laughs> And then he tries to recreate the uh, friend. Uh, he tries to recreate the smile. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll look at his watch. Let's see. Oh boy. Uh, you try, but a drop of like um, a sizable. Yeah. Yeah. Is it like uh, hits your? Uh, your cheek and you're like ah and then, like you you cover your face with with uh with one of your like uh hand yeah. palms um and the the creature is not alarmed it's gonna it's kind of looks at you makes another side uh, makes another hand sign with, with its arms like uh takes um kneels like pretty deep in the mud uh, and grabs like the upper layer of the mud. We just you notice that it has some some sort of a um, probably I could explain it. Um, it it looks like um, moss, but a very strange like bubbly moss. It's not it's not like uh, a sticking. Um, Upwards, it's like it, it grows to the sides, uh-huh. and um, he, he grabs it and kind of uh, smears it all over his his face. Oh, uh, okay. So you're and then and then shows and then points it to and then does the same does the same motion. Ah, you you nods. Gives it the thumbs up and uh, smears the the grabs uh, moss uh, and smears it all over his face. Uh, by that time, like the child has uh, ran back to the uh, the hole, the the lair, quote unquote, um, and a uh, couple more creatures. Uh, slowly approach. Uh, three of them. Uh, they look probably a little bit stronger than the one that you uh, yes. commu- communicating yeah. with. It, uh, the, the child like returns with them, and they they do not seem like hostile. They 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 walk like they're still of course aware of their surroundings. They're not like trolling uh, like in the. The, in the middle of the park on earth somewhere yeah. some park. Uh, but but still they, they do not like they, they they do not exhibit aggressive behavior and um, one of them uh, when they close two of them they get closer um, one of them points at you and tries really really hard to to um, uh say something uh but it's um like it doesn't have um, the vocal. yeah the vocal cords uh probably the nasal etc etc that is is um 
necessary to 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 it, it sounds like a, a very strange hiss uh and then like he, he, he gives up uh kneels and starts drawing something in the mud okay i will move closer to see what uh... and the child like the child uh moves like very close to you and uh, tries to to snatch the ration out of your hands i just give it to it it just and point to my mouth like the creatures they look really really they look vicious but they they are not hostile yeah looks can be deceiving and uh yeah the kid like grabs it spills probably half of it uh, because it doesn't uh, have any idea how to hold the, the package uh and starts like uh, picking it up from the ground and stuffing it uh, in its mouth and like uh, uh screeching jumping around and then trips again in the mud <laughs> drops all the food and they're like they they are hissing together. It's like it sounds almost laughing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, like this creature, it, it draws um, a very crude, but um, um, draws the symbol of uh, uh, the corporation, uh, the Raincoat Corporation. Basically, it looks like a hoodie, like the the symbol of the yeah. Raincoat Corporation. It looks like a hoodie with um, with an R inside of the hoodie. That's that's the logo of the Rainco Corporation. And of course, it's black, white, and red. Okay. Um... And then points at you after it after it draws like the primitive uh, logo of the corporate uh, Rainco Corporation. Then points at you and then points at uh, yeah. Uh, and then points at um, the rocks uh, behind you, like where you know that somewhere uh, inside of, of, of the of there is the base, actually. Ah, the the the, the base. Uh, yes, of course you yeah, know that yeah, the base okay, is yeah, somewhere uh, there. Yeah, uh, the, the Yuri uh, nods, then points to himself, points to the sky, and with his fist, like makes a landing, like a man landing gesture. Mm -hmm, mm hmm yeah like the pilots do like yeah well. <laughs> <laughs> and makes the noise well like like you tries to imitate the shuttle like <laughs> and, and then <laughs> do i need to roll uh, another charisma check no no, no okay. they, they are not like they they look at you they um um one of them makes makes like they they start like uh, gesturing to each other, like communicating very quickly. You can you can distance because you don't know the the primal. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, they point at like um, this the the older creature over here, and then they point to you at you, and then they point at the, the rocks uh, where the probe the base is, um, and um, from what you could probably discern uh, as, a, as an observer there there um, most probably communicating and trying to to decide uh who who's who's going to probably send someone with you mm -hmm. and then they point at uh, at him her no idea and then point at you, they make like a um, sign, like it's, uh, it's going to, to, to come with you and to see for you or hear for you. They, they, the, you, you, you could easily understand this. You're an exobiologist, of yeah. course. And okay. um, so the, those are super basic, like um, not, not yeah. very complicated signs. Uh, and they point at the rocks and they point at, um, at the APC, uh, and uh, one of them like uh, draws a, um, draws something that looks like a crate, and it points at the APC and then points at the at the, the drawing like in, in the mud of a crate. Uh -huh. uh, 
I not no, and then uh, pointed myself, uh, uh, pointed myself, pointed the crate, and then point at uh, the creature. Like, want me to get it for you? Like, you know? Uh, then, no, it's too. Yeah, okay. No. Then, they, uh, I note. Okay, then I note. Then uh, I uh, point to myself. Point to. Uh, our location and then raise two fingers and I do it just twice to be sure that understand me like me they, there too you're trying to explain to explain to them that you're not alone right yes that okay. there are two 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 like me mm -hmm. basically they, there, there's two of me there aha uh -huh. so yeah they they they're not that uh primitive to not understand like they they yeah, they catch, yeah, know, they catch yeah. up pretty pretty quickly um so one of them the the one like the special one i'm going to mark it uh it climbs over uh looks at looks at them and makes like the sign the same the same primitive uh, sign that uh edmund probably have seen it a thousand times because on your um world of course you you have lived together with uplifted species with clans kurilas uh probably you had like farm hands working because gorillas they love uh working on farms and everything which is even remotely connected with with food and the, the production of the ingredients uh just like the bunnies also but the bunnies, they do not like to cook the gurus, they, they love cooking. So yeah, you, you see you see the creature make uh, it, it makes like the same peace uh, peace sign like the, the little gur baby gurus make. You recognize this, even if you don't know Primal. Yeah, Yuri contacts uh Marcelo the <laughs> It would seem that uh, you will not be able to them after all, Martin. They, they, are the, the, they are the species the rain, the rain Corp was trying to update. Well, I guess I'll find something else to shoot and eat. <laughs> there is plenty. Uh, there, there is plenty no. of food around here. <laughs> yeah, just just the uh, mimic. The, the Don't worry about it. We'll get you some chicken when we get back to base. Sounds good. Ever since I shot that deer, I've had a craving to shoot things. <laughs> now, um, anybody know if Alexi even has chicken there? Uh, Yuri goes, well, maybe some, some octo chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, the octo chicken. Yes, well, Alexi, probably I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not joking. Yeah, I know. Yuri's so, dead serious. Okay. He goes, yeah, yeah, Alexi probably has some octo chickens. All right. Uh, anybody so, wants to do something? Does what? anyone say hello to the creature? Um, the, the hello? I walk over to where Yuri is, and I uh, I attempt to greet the creatures. <laughs> yeah, but you just passed the, the one that said hello. Oh, it's, I meant this one. I didn't see it yeah, there. Okay. It blends in with the rock. It should, it should have like a red dot. Little red it. dot, yeah. Yeah. All right, and then I uh, attempt to greet <clears throat> the creature with the hand sign I saw them using, because they, they they basically talk with hand signals, right? That's yep. what I kind of yep. was getting. Okay. Hand signals, yeah. clicks, uh, hisses. That's they they didn't. So have yeah, them. you know how uh, just to uh, to adapt to see, uh, you know how humans have uplift, uplifted gorillas, rabbits. This is the basically this is a um, a race of creature that was about to be uplifted, and this is the basic language they learned first before they are able to talk because. Obviously, these creatures don't have the, the, the mouth or the vocal cords necessary oh, okay. for them to speak. So, this because all creatures that will be uplifted have hands, at some at some capacity <laughs> they have hands, this is the most basic uh, language they can learn. 
but sadly none of us uh, sp- is basically like the a version of course not not the same but the, the one we use now for deaf people it's like imagine it like that yeah sign language yeah sign cool. language yeah okay so here he goes uh he closes his uh <laughs> Actually, it, it, he doesn't need to because it protects his face, but still he'll close uh, his face plate and goes, uh, go. There are some cargo crates in the in the down APC. We can go and check them out. Also, uh, it would seem this is our tour guide while we're on this planet. Uh, sadly, um, Ah, actually, uh, nah, we, we, can, we can communicate with them. Uh, um, here goes, uh, he or she will, I think, guide us to the shuttle. So we can just, we can just maybe first check the APC and then follow her to, to the Rain Corp shuttle and then check out the Zaran shuttle. That'll work. Yeah, let's check. Let's do that. Okay. So we still need to find fuel to get out of here too. Yuri turns to ah and and, and goes uh, also cover <laughs> also cover uh, cover your your suits in mud. It would seem to protect us uh, pro- uh, pro- protect against the acid rain. Mm. And may provide a camouflage bonus. Doing it. Uh, <laughs> so uh, Yuri points at Eve because, of course, he named her Eve. Mm. I, uh... you, can, you can you can dub dub the creature Eve. Eve. Okay. Eve. Yeah. Yeah. And I, it's uh... Yeah. So I reach down and start covering up my suit in mud. It's moss, yeah, not the mud. Moss, moss, I mean moss. Yeah. Moss, yeah. In the in the moss. And then, um. Yeah, you recover him, himself in moss. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm, co- I'm covered in moss. Yeah, I don't really know what to do with this creature here. I uh, uh tell Yuri. I mean, it. She's just gonna yes. guide us around, right? Yeah. More, more or less. Probably. <clears throat> yeah, I pro- they probably, uh, they probably think that you're the same humans that were. Yeah, so yeah they think silly. we're, we're they think we're from the Raincoat uh, organization. Co- uh, corporation. Uh, corp- corporation. Okay. So. They, they can probably guide us into the compound itself. Maybe we can find uh, uh, clues as to what happened to okay. the Rain Corp. But but first, uh, I, I want to go to the FPC. Maybe there's some weaponry left over that we can use. If they... uh, by always... the way, when you said when you said weaponry, I will forgot to to uh, to give you the. The grenade, um, what it does, give me a second. So, are you going to do the AP? I mean, the, the, the um, AC it does not like uh, damage you anymore. Yeah, let's let's go over to the uh, carrier. Keep. So, now we have plenty of time. So you walk, you walk over there like it's still, it's still. Uh, I mean, the the creatures they they walk around there for. Yeah, it's so they have to <laughs> wait for us. Yeah, like yeah, they they are kind of. Uh, um, the I mean the the rest the rest of them uh, they they quickly uh, lose interest in you and they. Like uh, return back to to their lair, uh, uh, but <laughs> uh, but uh, the one that they they they've chosen to to um, to 
to be to stay together with you or to uh, guide. Or your guide or to guide you uh well it it moves around and it tries to to uh, actively to help you like it's it, in the same in the very same way that try to try to instruct the child the child the little uh -huh. creature yes it, it try, tries to show you how to walk yeah uh, and uh, how not to to trip and uh how to keep your balance in this deep mud because it's very deep that's why you're moving that that slow um and you could i mean you I, could, will, I will try to imitate it yes you could try uh that's with a wisdom check okay um yeah it takes you probably an hour uh yuri but you you learn how to walk you won't be able to to run in the mud but you you will walk with with your uh normal speed anyone else want to try yeah, yeah. so Chris, uh sorry do a wisdom check yep yep edmund you too you, you successfully learn and that, of course, will uh, will serve you. This knowledge will serve you uh, if you can. Yeah, Marson, you too. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, so of course, please note it uh, on your character sheets that you uh, you you no longer suffer uh, movement penalties um, when yeah. you are like traversing muddy terrain. You won't be able to run, but you will be able to move with your normal speed. Speed so, uh, and like the 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 the, the creature is, is happy. It's like it's like uh, uh, pats you, uh, pats your legs. Like it's very careful. It's not to 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 poke you with its uh, sharp <laughs> claws, of course. <laughs> but it's like yeah, yeah. It's like uh, it, it looks happy. Like nods. Uh, oh, no. he he says he says like good job like uh, um, and uh, then when you reach the APC you see that the APC is um, uh, it doesn't look the Zaran um, it has the sign sign uh, the beige team sign uh, on it uh, but um, it it looks more like a Terran APC because it's tracked and uh, from your knowledge um, of their culture and their, their stuff basically common knowledge that you had uh, Yuri you know that the Zarans they are just like uh, any other alien um, state Imperium they mostly use uh, grab engine vehicles but since this place has a very uh, like uh, the magnetic field of this planetoid is is puny basically um they decided that they, they're not the designers they're not very not, not that stupid uh and this is probably a looted terran apc it seems damaged though like uh it hit a couple of trees, uh, snapped uh, one uh, of them, like almost in twine. Uh, but you see that the tracks are damaged uh, and something happened um, inside of it. I mean, the, from from this from this um, range, uh, Edmund, you can see that actually the hatches were clawed open and probably <laughs> something very nasty happened to those who drove it we hmm. kind of saw what... do the claw marks look about the size of the claws in our friends here or are they much mm -hmm. yep the same okay and i'm sure i know that yuri would notice that mr exobiology It's actually it's Pavlov actually. <laughs> Pavka. You can you can call him Pavka. No no no. 
okay, okay. It's Yuri. It's joking. Uh, all right, so the creature is like um, uh, pointing at the, um, the APC and again uh, draws in the mud, uh, drawing uh, in the shape of a crate. Yeah. And it's like makes like um, uh, signs like it's sus, like it's it's carrying something and points at you and then makes the like uh, opens and closes its uh, um, clawed hands is like trying to to show you something. It, there are grenades probably in there. No, no, no. Uh, it's no. Okay. Probably try, try to show you something else, but. Okay, so Yuri will climb the APC uh, with <laughs> weapon at the ready, just in case, and we'll look inside. Okay, so you look inside um, from like your first uh, look. You notice that there were prob there are probably uh, three corpses. Severely mangled, uh, clothed to death, limbs torn off, uh, armor like um, mold. Uh, they have broken weapons. They are the Zaran, of course. They they uh, they wear the same type of armor, just totally ruined. Probably you could salvage some. Um, uh, salvage for the code. Uh, and of course, uh, at the back of the APC, you, you notice this, this long crate, uh, which now when you look at it, you see why the creature was making this, these uh, signs with opening and closing. Um, her, uh, her hands or his hands, um, can't grab the the handles uh, on either side of the the crate. Probably won't be able to pick it up normally. Uh, okay, but you so can. Uh, but you yeah, can. Okay. I'm going to use my scanner to see what's inside. Okay. Roll uh, computers. Okay. Uh, yeah, you scan around. Uh, you don't. You do not detect any booby traps. Um, and you scan uh, that there is a weapon, a uh, heavy weapon inside. Uh, looks like um, anti-tank railgun. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. And the crate, the crate is a uh, Terran issue. Like it's... Um... Ah. It would seem that the oh, he go goes into the network. Uh, it, goes. it would seem that the Terran life forms were trying to steal some weapons. Come here, uh, come here and uh, help me. We have a uh, anti-tank rail gun. Just Jeez. lying around. Well, he'll help carry it out. Yeah. So we we take it out. I'm guessing so can. Uh, can any one of us use actually? Can <laughs> I know I can't. But, uh, any of you use heavy weapons? Proficiency in heavy weapon. Yep, proficiency. We can all use it. You can try shooting with it, but oh god, not penalty. You will not. You will not be very accurate. Good. Yeah, but it's still it's it's a functioning weapon. Like when a crate is not locked. Uh, when you open the crate, you notice that uh, the weapon is a little bit dirty uh, here and there, like um, uh, smeared with uh, dust and uh, mud, uh, dried up mud, but, but it, it doesn't look like uh, damaged or anything. Uh, the legs, the folding legs are in good order. Uh, the problem is that it has uh, one uh, power pack that is is loaded, um, and when you when you check the indicator uh, on the side, 
it says let me see Romy 1d100 uh, Yuri let's see what your luck is okay um okay so it's not empty uh, the power pack is not empty um it has uh, six shots in it out of ten uh so the uh, anti-tank uh deals uh 2d6 uh, points of uh damage uh the crit range is 19 20 um, um the multiplier is two it has uh, 120 feet range and weighs uh, 15 pounds. Also, as you know, it's an anti-tank railgun. Uh, it has integrated armor piercing module in it. Comes inbuilt with it. Otherwise, it, there is no no use, no point. Uh, so yeah, it is. It looks like a standard Terran issue looted weapon. Probably looted uh, alongside the APC. Most probably. So, uh, yeah. What I suggest we do is drag it next to the uh, the, the the creature's cave, and then Edmund hides it. And when we find the shuttle, and we're free to move. We return for the railgun. That's the grenade, by the way, uh, Marson. Oh. You... Yeah. That's the grenade. Mark one. Yeah. So grenade, so it has uh, only explosives and no uh, shrapnel. Oh yeah, and I got a Unless... grenade. Four. What? Uh, remember? A, a pack I found. Yeah, that's the grenade. Oh, that's the grenade. That's, oh, that's the stats of the grenade. Oh, okay. So I, I understand. I yeah. Oh. So yeah, you you kind of uh, it, it's not very probably with the crate it weighs like eight pounds the whole thing mm. it doesn't have like spare power packs for it uh, and you uh, you could spend some time uh, uh, roll a check uh, inside the APC um, and you the three of you can comfortably do it together Yep, do we still, with the three of us, do we need turn checks if it's the three of us? No, no, it's, it's, no. I mean, yeah. you're not that weak. Uh, let's see, Edmund has 12 strength, like 12 strength is, is, is um, enough for, for one soldier to pick up the entire crate and uh, carry it on himself, by himself. But two, two people, like, easily, will easily carry it. You pick it up. Yeah. Yeah, you pick it up. Uh, so uh, who, who's going to roll the search check and who's going to help him? Uh, this was intelligence, sir, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'll try to uh, search and... Uh, are, you going to use, are you going to use something to help you? But yeah, I mean the 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 scanner, uh -huh. obviously. Uh, but does the, the, the actual does the sniper has search? I'm not sure the skill. I do not have search. Is one of my yeah, selected okay, skills. Yeah. Okay. So no. okay. So I'm going to search uh, first. Scan and then search. Just roll the search. The intelligence. Okay. But I'm using with the scanner. Yeah. Yeah. That that's gonna give you a circumstance bounce. Well, you ro look around and uh, kind of takes you around half an hour. You you check uh, each uh, every little nook and cranny. Uh, you uh, 
uh, throw away probably some of the the body parts, <laughs> uh, and uh, you 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 manage to scrounge uh, pieces of their uh, broken uh, suits, uh, and of course their broken weapons. Unfortunately, uh, you do not find anything else to use uh, in this APC. Um, except probably uh, you find the, that uh, you locate uh, the, the machines, like the vehicles, the uh, mainframe. And it seems like damaged a couple of uh, Optical cables are like sticking out uh, from beneath the panel. It looks like a little bit bashed. Okay, the main load around. Uh, and also, sadly, you, you find out power core, the reactor of the vehicle is heavily damaged. One of the Tazarans probably shot, it, uh, shot its um, regulator and it's, it's, it's kind of so if you if you if you have like power a power source that you, you want to use and you are able to fix the mainframe of the vehicle get access to, to the data. Okay, so the the, the, the console itself does it uh, the, does it look like it's uh, human design or the APC is human? Yeah, it's human. So, uh, Yuri looks at uh, Marston and says, So, what do you think, Marston? Is, is, can you work some some magic here and uh, fix it? Fix, fix, fix this, this thing up a bit? Uh, uh, my repair skill, right? Yep. See what I can. Well, you try, but um, the only thing that you you are able to do is uh, retrieve the um, uh, the data crystal of the mainframe because um, yeah, uh, from what you've seen, uh, Merson, like it, um, your opinion is that uh, it's it's um, it's impossible to fix i mean it's it's being clawed to to hell and bashed so you you don't have spare spare parts for for uh for, to repair it. uh so the salvage like the item salvage that you get uh, yuri is uh 12 12 points of item salvage that weighs 12 pounds The creature, by the way, kind of loses interest uh, while you're uh, uh, searching and throwing away people. It kind of starts uh, uh, looking at the mud. By the way, Edmund, if you're still outside, you see you see the creature looking at the mud in very uh, di different places, different spots. Uh, it kind of tilts its head to the left, to the right. Um, looks looks at those spots very carefully and like uh, uh, readies its uh, hands. You see its claws, like, um, and uh, it suddenly like moves very fast. Um, you could try and uh, trace trace the, the the movement with a spot check if you if you have any interesting in, interest. It looks like almost is it it's it's hunting. Yeah, it's it's hunting. So okay. yeah, it it does it a couple of times and time it kind of uh, picks up, uh, grabs uh, juicy worm like 
larva-like thing, uh, those the same things that it was uh, trying to teach the, the kid to catch. And it kind of uh, picks them up and um, uses one of the helmets um, of the Tazarans uh, to 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 collect them. And while while they're they're searching, spend like half an hour, maybe more, uh, probably close to an hour, with uh, Marson trying to fix the, the mainframe, and then giving up after. Uh, realizing that it's impossible for him to fix uh, and you, you spend all of this time like uh, carefully studying uh, the, what, what the creature does how it uh, locates the, the those things it, it's like one just one and it's it's collecting like probably it collects like a, around eight um, and after it finishes like it like uh comes comes over to you and like offers you the the helmet with with the, the things inside uh and they're like wriggling like imagining them to be like um, um it's like grubs yeah like grubs but um probably the size of um the size of your hand like the palm of your hand like that that one uh, from the tips of your... So like an Australian grub. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, like that. I'm not even joking. They yes, have yeah. grubs that are called like witchy or witchy grubs that are like when they lay out, they curl up on your hand, they're about the size of your palm. Yeah. yeah. So The size of a steak. <laughs> uh. Uh, okay, so yeah, it, 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 she, uh, uh, the creature like gives, it, gives them to you. Uh, points at your mouth points at them and like makes a, a sign like uh, like you you bite you you have to bite the, the the head off and spit it and then eat the rest like it's it's trying to to be like a mother teach you or a father and like and teach you how to eat stuff, uh, how to catch it's special we are it's special needs kids <laughs> like okay honey no <laughs> You're supposed to eat. <laughs> yeah, and um Okay, so gross out of this uh I mean you 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 uh you managed to to learn something from it. I mean it's it's a very uh primitive creature, but it's it um by observing its um reaction and how it, it moves uh you you gain one uh point in uh, rival nice cool so uh what are you going to do after you have uh, pillaged the apc i mean the apc can be salvaged it's, uh, it needs a lot of love but it can be salvaged. it it uh will we have enough space on the shuttle for the drop pod and the apc Ah, well, oh, we actually, have to. We don't know the. Yeah, we have to. You have see to what the, find the shuttle yeah, first, yeah. and okay. then you'll have to use okay, your. But first, I, I suggest we go to the Tazaran <laughs> shuttle actually to see if, because we couldn't get info from the APC. I suggest we get go to the shuttle to see if they have scheduled. For some reinforcement to, to come, like after some time, because the the shuttle, the, the, the ion trail is a week old. The corpses are like two or three days old. So by this point, the, the, the Zaran life forms know that uh, there something has happened to this team. So I suggest we go actually first go to the, uh, the Zaran life forms shuttle. And then to see if we can retrieve uh, some data. If there are, there is another team coming, then we can. Then yeah. I think we can be so, better yeah, prepared. We can. We can uh, I think we should. Uh, yeah. Yeah.